Churchill wrote all of his own speeches. This is remarkable considering he is one of history's greatest orators. What made his words so great was that they seemed old-fashioned. He used a dramatic prose that was very concerned with precise language used in an eloquent way. In this way, he never talked down to an audience. He demanded that they bring themselves to his level of discourse, and if they chose not to elevate their understanding, then they would volunteer to be lost in ignorance. Balancing what could quickly become a politician seeming technocratic and obscure, he followed the Shakespearean model that brevity is the soul of wit. Germany was not isolated and surrounded on all sides. They were crushed. His great enemy was also a master of language, and he used theatrics and costume and mythology better than Churchill ever could. You may have noticed how I used meter to affect the dramatic impact. Pauses in speeches create suspense and add gravity to what is being said. This final draft of a speech he wrote shows large spaces, so while he read the speech, he would know how to speak it like a poet. These techniques were used and copied by the greatest speakers of all time. In his time, perhaps no greater than in world history has the formidable power of the speaker been so potent. The techniques of Churchill have been used by many great people to sway the listeners into action. A great orator is a performer, a poet, and they can use this power for good or evil.